This is what fame looks like. Meet Nala, a nine-year-old rescue cat and the most famous feline on Instagram with 4.1 million followers. From living it up in Sin City, to soaking up some suds, to trying on some new shades, this cool cat rakes in hundreds of thousands of views and likes. And she doesn't even know it. Nala's just the newest queen bee in a world of kitty influencers that have achieved their own level of online eminence. So is Nala your full-time job now? She's been my full-time job for seven years now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bringing along their owners for the ride, Nala is now the one paying the bills. How much is she making? <laughs> well, enough that we bought two houses mm -hmm. and um, we have two adopted kids and we have six cats and a dog. Wow. From cat video compilations with almost 100 million views to memes and movies like the viral Cats trailer released just last week. For whatever reason, nothing holds a candle to kittens when it comes to being able to break the internet. And for these divas and their owners, today is the most perfect day of the year. We're at CatCon, the biggest cat-centric event in the world. From the insta-famous felines themselves to the cat ladies, both real and legendary, this is where cat people meet. And I've got to admit, I'm a little out of my element. I grew up a little scared of cats, so we're gonna see how this one works out. Let's go check it out. CatCon boasts as center stage for some of the most influential felines in the world. What is it about these cats that kind of make them internet royalty? People want something to relate to. Susan Michaels is the founder of the event in Southern California. I think like these kitties and what they stand for, and even cat videos, people need a break. They need something to believe in. After meeting up with Nala, it's pretty clear she's living the dream. I found her from a shelter, and right now she's the most popular cat on Instagram. But I think it's just because, you know, we we being authentic and we being ourselves and we trying to bring like a good to the world. Fresh off of a flight from Alberta, Canada, we also caught up with Suki, a Bengal cat with 1.5 million followers. Celebrity life. <laughs> who traveled in with her owners to meet her beloved fans. Have you noticed the crazy cat lady is becoming younger? It is becoming younger. I think a big part of that is social media. We're just finding so many new cats that are so cute that we fall in love with and then fly all the way to CatCon to meet them. But CatCon isn't just about the felines. It's about the owners themselves. And we're about to hang with one of the most famous cat ladies of all time, Angela Kinsey the real-life cat lady version of her character on The Office, Angela Martin. This is Halloween last year. Just a couple of kittens out on the town. Seriously, so why are you here today? Why am I here, do you have to ask? Because I'm a cat lady. I played a cat lady. I am a real cat lady. No, I love cats. I mean, my character maybe a little bit more than myself. I don't know, she had like 13. I've never licked one of my own cat's faces, so there's that. We're talking to Susan, the founder of CatCon, yeah. and one thing that she brought up is the modern cat lady is changing. That's right. What do you think about modern that? Modern cat lady is sassy. I saw a lady today that had like, something you might wear, let's say, to the Met Gala, mm -hmm. and it was like covered in cats, and she had like a midriff top. So I say the modern cat lady is sassy. She's out there, she's ready to mingle. The cat lady is changing, and so is the industry. CatCon and the surrounding animal influencer culture are all a product of a shifting market of pet owners, with millennials making up the majority. That's about 35% of the group. The baby boomer was the number one consumer of pet products until about two years ago, and they didn't expect the millennial to usurp it till 2020, and they already have. In 2018, American owners spent $72 billion on their pets. This year we have over 200 vendors, that's the most we've ever had to date, and then um, $1 of every ticket goes to help animals in need. Now four years in, CatCon featured a record 16,000 people traveling far and wide for the whole kitten caboodle. I mean, I have to be a little crazy to fly all the way to California from Utah to just meet a bunch of cats. <laughs> I want them to walk away with a virtual and a real life takeaway 
that's memorable, whether it's a catnip toy that they buy or a selfie that they take. Or a cat they adopted. Or a cat that they adopted. And so to that point, we've gotten to date 504 cats adopted at CatCon. Beyond the glitz and glam of the con's most famous cats lies an adoption center. A real chance to find a home for some of these furballs. And I'm finally making friends. Hey there. This is Victorious. Victorious? Hey, yeah, buddy. He's about two months old. He hey. just got adopted, so we're super happy for him. Mm -hmm. And Best Friends is here at CatCon to try to get 200 cats and kittens into homes. Oh, my God. Hey, buddy, I got you. And they were able to do just that. CatCon and Best Friends successfully found a home for 200 cats at this year's CatCon. And while I'm over here getting over a lifetime of fears, for the attendees of CatCon, today's about living out their furriest of fantasies, right. strutting their stuff from whiskers to tails. I think people love cats because cats do not care about us at all. They're like, I don't care. Do what you want to do. You want to take my picture? Fine. Don't care. For Nightline, I'm Ashin Singh in Pasadena. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.